the comparisons between all of these games I will read out to you now because they what define the difference between each of the games. So in The Sims 1, they had no weekends. Work and school was every single day. They have changed that in The Sims 2, I believe, and definitely that's not there in The Sims 3. The children never grow up in Sims 1. That's obviously been changed. The Sims don't die of old age. That's been changed. They they had viruses. We don't. I don't think we have viruses. Um, the kids, um, they got money from getting an A. That is not existent anymore. The graphics were shit. They were really bad. But I don't blame them because it was in two thousand. But I still saw. I don't know. But they were they were really bad. There were limits on land and housing. It's Sims 1, we can give them a break for that. Sims 2, they had life and death stages. They had wants, fears, aspirations, new rewards, and a game recorder. That was the first feature of that that was ever seen. They had mythical creatures, which don't really exist until Supernatural in Sims 3. Um, they had pretty bad graphics and clothing, which were much, which other games did pretty well. And this I was pretty disappointed in because it was much more advanced. They had more expansions that were much better than any of The Sims. They still had limits on land and travel. So you could never go anywhere but your own house. And when you went to go to work, you have to wait for ages until you came home. So boring. So it was always fun if you had one person that didn't go to work. Um, also... Only the PC version has a two-story option. That was a bummer. And I actually, you know it was really stupid of me? I would think I was like maybe 10. And I had got The Sims 2 on the PC. And I couldn't find the save button. So I gave it back because I thought there was a fault with the game. But then I, pl I played it at my friend's house. And she's like, here's the save button. I'm like, crap. The Sims 3, more lots and houses and worlds. So there were more lots to choose from and you could travel everywhere in the world that you were in. So that was fun. <laughs> um, romance is not just within the Sims household. You can create your own world. Now that's pretty cool. That's very cool. So now you can create your own world and you can put it on the Sims Online store. Um, there were cool songs on the radios to choose from, to listen to from actual artists. Um, the player won't lose deceased Sims stuff to go to their inventory. Better customization, in my opinion. Um, the enhance of creating a Sim. Creating a Sim has been enhanced. Enhanced, that's how you pronounce it. That's how you make it work. Plus, you can also have Sims clothing and hair and etc. Downloaded from the Sims store. That's pretty good. I don't know if that's the same on like PC ver PS3 version etc. Because it's Sims 3 store is like ac accessible on the computer. Um, I didn't actually know this. You can make twins and triplets. I didn't know that. I actually never knew there was an icon to do that. Oh my gosh. How silly of me. There is, um, I don't, this has never been included, but there's no teen pregnancy, which would be, that's more realistic, and I think they should have put that in there with generations. That's not even a comparison. I had just had to mention that. There are more traits and wishes and career options. Patches also add new features and The Sims is still, The Sims 3 is still continuing as a franchise. However, The Sims is not a perfect game at all. It has some of the most biggest glitch problems I have ever seen in games. And I'm not talking about pop graphic, you know, like pop-ins with texture. I'm talking about huge, huge glitches that, glitches that stuff up your game. Okay, I will tell you a story. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. So just sit back and listen to my tragic story. I was super excited about buying the Sims Generation Pack. I bought it. 
from eBay, I think. Yeah. Um, I downloaded it. I mean, I put it in my computer. I did the whole process, whatever. And then I had, then you had to update The Sims, and then I did that. I was playing. I was so excited to see what would, you know, the prams, and you can do all this stuff and crap and shit. And then it died on me. It cut out on me. And I'm like, oh, well, this hasn't happened with me to me before. So I tried it again. I reloaded and I went to play. I was playing and then it died again. I'm like, okay, this is starting to get weird. So I tried it one more time and I did it again. And I was playing and I got a little bit further and then it died. And I'm like, okay, this is bullshit. This is absolute nuts. So I thought there was a problem with my computer. I actually thought there was a problem with my computer. I took my com whole computer out, I, which means I lost everything. I took it to the tech dudes up the road and they fixed it, but they didn't fix it because there was nothing wrong with my computer. It was the game. The game was faulty. The amount, and that stuffed up all my sims, my whole sims game, stuffed. It was stuffed. It was like poopied. It was poopied, pretty much. And I was so upset that I actually had a bit of a tantrum. <laughs> my, let me tell you, this is last year and I had a tantrum. I was so pissed. I was like throwing things around because I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I paid money and I couldn't get my money back. So that was really annoying. Um, which meant... As well, I couldn't play Emma Sims at all anymore because it stuffed up my game so bad that I lost everything on my other games as well and almost everything pretty much. But And then I lost all my Sims stuff. So I would have had to restart all again. I had to unload all of my already expansion packs that I got. <gasps> my throat's dry. <coughs> Water. So I had to uninstall all of that, reinstall it, and it still didn't work. So now I can't play Sims. So it wasn't just me, though. Generations was a faulty expansion pack. It worked for some people, didn't work for half of everybody. Everyone had problems. Some people's were fixed, but not mine. Like, oh, and it was probably the worst expansion pack that The Sims could have made. One of the best design, like one of the best ideas, but was so faulty and it was a fail and... Uh, so The Sims is not without faults, clearly, by the story I just told you. So I'm not saying don't get Generations if you haven't already, because it's, a, it's good, I've seen my friend play it, but um... It can be very faulty. Before I finish up, I want to talk about what I love about The Sims. And what I really enjoy about playing The Sims. What I did enjoy about playing The Sims. Because the only thing I can do now is make houses. But I love doing that, so... Okay. <laughs> what I love is that you can make... A you. That makes sense. You can make a you and play like how you would want your life to turn out. I've done that before, but then I'm like, <gasps> I look horrible in Sim version. So I made my own character and I made my character have this whole backstory. And I do that with a lot of my games, the games that I play that aren't casual games. I make my character have a whole backstory and stuff that's not even included. But with Sims, you, you kind of can. So, that was much fun. So, I would make a character who I would dream about. Like, who I would love to be, but I know I couldn't do that because I'm not good at that. So, your life is at... So, your... Everything's at your disposal when you play The Sims. I love it, I love it, I love it. What else do I love? I enjoy the concept of having a casual game like The Sims, which is simulated and 
is like a it's like a world that you can imagine in your head, but it's on screen. Yeah, my friend, who I'm dedicating this to. Shout out to you! I love you. You're awesome. You are my biffle. Just saying. You don't have to like this video, but um, you should like this bit because I just told you that you're my biffle. You knew that already. Um, but she loves, and I mean loves, The Sims. Like, she'll play it all the time. Like, no, I'm not kidding. She'll play it all the time. She's addicted, I swear. But it's okay. She has a life, okay? <laughs> um, I just love the concept about it. It's so different from other games that are on the market, even of other casual games. There are so many spin-offs as well, like Sims Medieval, Sims... The one that, the one with the little people. Yeah. And then of course there's SimCity, which this is a spin-off of. But, um. It's a worthwhile purchase. Go buy it. This is this, I know it looked weird. <laughs> I haven't had a drink, so. I have feel dehydrated. Oh, okay. The hurt. <coughs> I have to say something. Let's take a moment of silence. Take a moment of silent prayers. That is not what I was going to say. This game has revolutionized gaming. It is a revolutionary game that I think a lot of us respect and admire these people that have created this masterpiece that a lot of us play. And I don't mean just girls that play it, because I do know a, a lot of girls play it, but a lot of boys play it. The Sim, it's very, it's diverse. It's for both genders because there's guys in this thing, so. The Sims is truly a phenomenon that is still in the making. It is a fantastic game. It is beautiful. The graphics are extraordinary now. They, and I, I can't wait until they make a next one, which I'm positive they will. I'm praying they will because I will buy it. And I'm praying that it doesn't stuff up like my generation's pack did. I am not blaming you, Sims people, but I do at the same time. So I also hope that you liked my house tour. I am so proud of that house. Don't diss me on it. Because, I mean, you can, but I will feel very upset. <laughs> um, but please like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. I know I'm the weird child that has problems, but not literally has problems. But I'm just saying, I have, there. I swear, I'm a weird child. But no one's normal, so... See you next time. Bye.